TBS app. Ready for you when you want to watch full episodes of your favorite shows. Even stream your local station live. Stream anytime, anywhere with the free PBS app. Serving the Inland Northwest and Western Canada, this is KSBS Public Television. Good evening and welcome to tonight's broadcast of the 2015 musical biopic that tells the remarkable story of Brian Wilson, the troubled genius singer-songwriter who put the Beach Boys on top of the pop music world before he slipped mysteriously out of public view for decades, then escaped the control of a controversial therapist, found a new life through a chance encounter with a woman he would eventually marry, and then staged one of the most amazing comebacks in the annals of modern musical history. The film is noted for its rich use of Wilson's songs and its score, its fine recreations of Beach Boys recording sessions, and its noteworthy acting, particularly by John Cusack and Paul Dano, who portray Wilson at different stages of his life. Scriptwriters Oren Muberman and Michael Allen Lerner skillfully explore the nature of creativity and sensitively portray Wilson's struggles with mental illness, obsessive eating, psychedelic drugs, and with his abusive, controlling father and an even more controlling therapist. The film's rated PG-13. Now, Love and Mercy alternates from the mid-1960s and the late 1980s. The 60s scenes, featuring Dano, portray Wilson's efforts to transition the Beach Boys away from their early Carl's Girl, Cars, Girls, and Surf sound into the moodier and mellower songs of their now legendary Pet Sounds album. The 1980s scenes deal with Wilson's efforts to escape the 24-hour control of his controversial therapist, Dr. Eugene Landy, and to find a new love, stabilize his life, and reclaim his talent. Let's look at the top cast. John Cusick portrays the older Brian Wilson as a middle-aged man in the 1980s. Cusick made his film debut in 1983 and has since appeared in 80 movies, some designed only for non-theatrical release. He's long been critical of Hollywood's dominance by mega corporations and has migrated toward quirky roles and roles in often offbeat independent productions. The younger version of Brian Wilson is portrayed by Paul Dano, who received critical acclaim, a BAFTA nomination, and a slew of regional critic nominations and awards for his efforts. Dano grew up in New York and began his acting career on stage there. Among his best-known film roles are those as a troubled teenager in Little Miss Sunshine, as twin brothers in There Shall Be Blood, and more recently as the villain Riddler in The Batman, and as Burt Fableman in Steven Spielberg's The Fableman. Actor-producer Elizabeth Banks portrays Melinda Ledbetter, a Cadillac sales rep whom Wilson meets by chance while looking at a car. She turns out to be his savior. Banks' performance received Best Supporting Actor awards from eight regional critics associations, as well as a satellite award from the International Press Association. To date, according to Wikipedia, she has more than 250 film, television, and related credits, and since 2002, she and husband Max Handelman have owned Brownstone Productions, which owns the Pitch Perfect film yeah. franchise, in which Banks has appeared, also directing Pitch Perfect 2. Her latest directorial release is the horror comedy Cocaine Bear. Now, my final shout-out goes to Paul Giamatti, another cast member drawn to solid scripts with often quirky roles. In Love and Mercy, he portrays Dr. Eugene Landy, Wilson's legally oh, empowered, controlling, and abusive Dr. Caretaker. Among his many screen appearances, Giamatti is best known for his performances in Sideways, Cinderella Man, Big Fat Liar, American Splendor, Twelve Years a Slave, and Private Life, Back as well as his primetime Emmy and Golden Globe winning performances as John Adams in the HBO miniseries based on the life of the founding father and second president of the United States. How true is the movie to actual events? Well, Wilson himself, now age 81, told the Chicago Tribune in 2015 that the film was very factual, but then he amended that in a 2016 article in Esquire in which he noted that the movie contained some content that wasn't actually factual. However, even the most meticulous fact-checkers have found only a few minor errors in the film, none of significance. 
Now normally at this time of year, Saturday Night Cinema is preempted by pledge programming. So it's a delight to be with you tonight to bring you this fine movie without an eruption. That said, all of us at Saturday Night Cinema would be delighted to have you remember KSPS and Saturday Night Cinema with a donation in support of the station and its film broadcasts. You can do that online at ksps.org, where you'll also find more information about tonight's film and my online commentary at ksps.org slash snc and on social media. Thanks for your support, and now let's watch Love and Mercy on Saturday Night Cinema.